listen, I have, now let me just let me just tell you. Um, I am a man of faith. Anybody who knows me knows I'm a man of faith. I am I am a Christian. I am I'm actually a Baptist pastor. So at no point am I disputing God or the Bible or anything. I just want to. I, just, I want to just. I want to just show you something, though. God didn't tell you to shut up, be quiet. Just only to read this. He wants you to go outside and be a good steward in this world too. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Watch this here. Now, people. Now, if depending on how religious, if depending on how religious you are, you're right. I'm going religious and kingdom. Okay. So, um, and I'm using religious as a bad term. I'm using kingdom as a good term. Okay. And I'm not saying that they always are. I'm just, this is how I'm using it for this example. Depending how much religion you have in you, control and all that stuff, you're, you're not liking what I'm saying. You're quite uncomfortable. Right. And it's okay. Because I'm, I'm about to make it plain. Come on, man. And I'm going to spit some facts mm -hmm. that you're going to accept or reject. And that's okay. I don't mean to be offensive. Mm -hmm. It's just, if you don't agree, take what you agree with, discard the rest. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. the, if you got kingdom in you, I'm going to liberate you. My first initial inflammatory statement, because it was definitely inflammatory, and I said it, I meant it to be inflammatory on purpose, is God didn't just want you to read his Bible. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, go or whatever. Because, because like I told y'all before, Hillary Clinton played to be president. So did Trump. Mm -hmm. So which prayer did God answer? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you, you say other, right? Did he, it doesn't matter, right? The point is, some extra biblical principles, good or bad, got one into the White House and one not. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's going to happen. I know there's a recount going on. That doesn't matter. The point is, there was something outside of your 66 books. Right. Okay, now, somebody said right now, if you're totally religious and you're totally controlled and you want me to be quiet and shut up, I understand. But you don't get to disagree with me. Why? Because you didn't go to K through 12 to learn your Bible. Come on, man. You went to K through 12 to learn general knowledge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand know what I'm saying? Because you couldn't even read your Bible if you didn't learn how to read yeah. in this society, in this day and age. Yeah. You understand know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So don't say world knowledge is bad now. Because you just you're not thinking about the big picture the, or the full picture. The full picture is you went to school. Come on, man. You know, even if you dropped out of eighth grade, you went through K through eight. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it don't matter. You 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 went. You didn't learn. Nobody's learning algebra in Genesis. <laughs> <laughs> but watch it, free, man. But, 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 but watch it though. Man. But watch it. If you're religious, God gave Noah algebra. And drink geometry to build that ark. He, he told him how to do it. And he told him which lengths and which cubits to follow. Mm -hmm. So, in your very religious mind, even God used math. Come on, man. And, 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 so, and so, religiously, historically, we still build boats in the 21st century. According to the same, according to the same metrics yes, and, 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 and measurements. Right, the, the same ratios that Noah did, right, in the Christian Bible, which which also he's not just in the Bible, right? He's in all every every major religion and every religion you know, has a flood story, right? And that name may not be Noah, but either way, the point is, don't discount what I'm saying because you're so super religious, because you still went to school, you still learned geometry, you can't play pool biblically. Pool is geometry. You got to know a couple of angles, man. You, you can't shoot a basketball mm -hmm. right. with the Bible. With the 23rd song. That's, ge that's <laughs> geometry. Come on, man. With basketball, like you can't, you can't jump from pillar to post with the Bible. That is literally your brain being a supercomputer. Like, in order for you to jump from one curve to another and land precisely where you want to land, it would take a supercomputer forever to do that. It would take a supercomputer forever to have a hummingbird fly and then slow down and then land on a branch. The massive amount of energy and knowledge and just, just it's 
so many things. Geometry, trigonometry. There's so many. To the fact that the Earth is spinning, and you're taking that into the into, um, uh, consideration. into consideration without even knowing you're doing it. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? All these things happen, and they're happening whether you want them to or not. So what am I saying? Tim, I apologize, but it's simple. It's it's you will need something else. Come on, sir. To survive in this world. You know what I'm saying? You won't need much more than just your faith. Why? Because everybody prayed. 19, July 20th, 1969, the first time man went on the moon. But JFK said in his speech, we're going to send man to the moon. You know, you know what I'm saying? They prayed about it. And then them boys went into labs and started doing math problems. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They prayed. And so if you're not careful, you'll let religion, you'll let people tell you, just pray. Pray and get you to the moon. Mm -hmm. Math did. Mm -hmm. Chemical engineering did. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, telephonic and radio communications did. Like laws got you to the moon. Not prayer. Prayer started the process. Right? The law finished. The law is finished. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Alright, so questions. It's probably good. Hold, hold it to the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Law number two is very simple. Law number one, pay 10%. You always have 10%. Law number two, do not kill your 10%. Do not eat your seed. Do not kill it. Don't eat your seeds. Put your money where money works. Your money is glad to work for you. Don't put it in an environment in which it makes you sad. Just because you're sad doesn't mean you make your money depressed. Mm -hmm. Remember, guys, we are by here creating economies. You will not create your own legacy if you do not create your own economy.